Hey, you guys, this is Dr. Andre Dickerson here with IOnTheDaycare.com, where we connect child care business owners with proven management solutions. For today's proven management solution, I want to talk to child care business owners and give you three ways that you can be obedient to the true call of God that's on your life concerning your child care business. So if you've been feeling stuck, like you can't get to it, you can't make it happen, you can't get it done, you cannot operate on the level God has for you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Hey there, child care boss. Let's take a sneak peek behind what you'll learn on the VIP day with me. Number one, I'm going to teach you office systems for admin, office systems for directors, and also how to create your own hiring station. All right, let's go. I love this room, by the way. Next, I'm going to teach you systems for school agers. I'm going to teach you your style guide for your bathrooms, your front area. And guys, these are two separate bathrooms, but they follow the style guide. All right. Next, I'm going to teach you about your infant room processes, procedures, and setup. And also your preschool room processes, systems, and setup. And guys, I believe that your student area, no matter where they are located, must be nice. And then I bring in you and your team into a VIP area. All right. DM me today. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much for staying along with me. I cannot wait for you to become a part of our all-new VIP program that is going to be a game changer for child care business owners like you who are seeking ways to really be obedient to God's plan for their life, but you're stuck in your classrooms or you're stuck doing what you have to do for your business. Be sure to find out more about our VIP program. It's an investment. But it's for those of you that's ready to show up and go up to the next level. Well, all right, you guys, let's dive in. Talk to you about it is thank you all so much for allowing me to express my Christian faith and principles with you all. I talk a lot about God, but now I'm about to really go deep because I'm creating this video for those of you who are believers and you believe that God has called you to something bigger and greater than where you are, but you're struggling with following through with the plan or with the vision that God has showed you. Many of you struggle because number one, you don't have all of the pieces to the puzzle to give you the answers you need to motivate you and inspire you to get going and to make the sacrifices to go against all odds and to focus and not allow distractions to get you off track. And so when you start wanting for all the pieces of the puzzle to be presented to you, it prevents you from walking by faith. And as a believer, we know that the scripture says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. But let me tell you what I've learned about how God really operates, especially in the life of an entrepreneur. He gives you a glimpse of what he wants for you to do and what's possible for you. And it's just a itty bitty glimpse. It doesn't include all of the setbacks, the tests, the trials and tribulations that you will face. But we also know that by faith, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver him out of them all. And many of us will see the good hand of the Lord among us if we would just remove distractions and walk by faith. So with that being said, you will never get the full picture if you don't be obedient to step one. So hopefully my tips today will help you be obedient so that you can move forward in the direction that God has assigned for you. I am on a mission to help owners like yourself get free so that you can move forward the way God has called you to. Now, of course, you're going to need the proper framework, but I believe that I can teach that framework to you in three days because of the model that God has specifically given to me. He's given me a model that you can walk through, touch, put your hands on, and spend three exclusive days with me. And I can train you on the framework both in person and online, meaning I'm going to give you documents that's online for you to further use as you enjoy the three days with me and when you leave you'll have follow-up okay well, for our discussion and topic today for your training i want to talk to you about three ways so that you can get to where you need to be in god and number one is you must be willing to shift from where you are to a different environment for a period of time so that you can get full many of you you are distracted I don't have to know you. I don't have to be in your child care business, but I know that you are distracted. You are distracted by number one, either working in your classrooms 
or working in your business to make sure that your business get it done, survive, make it happen, whichever term you want to use. And I come to tell you that you know, just like I know, that you have to surrender that childcare business over to God and you have to submit to a new framework, a new plan in order for you to truly get out of operating in your business so that God can take you to the next level. Going to the next level will not happen if you're in the midst of something. You have to be able to step away so that you can work on it by taking it to the next level, putting what you need on the inside of you, writing out that book, getting that manual typed up, walking to the networking event, going through doors, walking through doors that God has assigned you to. Now I'm operating prophetically, okay? But you know, just like I know, that you have to start moving differently. You cannot stay where you are expecting for the change that God has showed you to happen. You must move by faith. So you have to shift your environment because there's a, a saying that says, those who show up, go up. And so you have to start showing up where the information that you need will empower you to get it done. So I talked about this earlier, that there are so many owners who have already received downloads from God, telling them exactly what he wants for you to do. He's giving you a itty bitty glimpse, but because he didn't give you all of the middle and all of the answers, you're stuck by not being obedient. So you have to shift your mindset by getting in environments where the information that's missing is provided because one thing i learned is that in order for you to manifest you need a model you need a model of someone that has done what you are seeking to do to pour into your life so that you can manifest what it is that you are believing god for all right for key point number two not only do you need to change environments but you must seek out a new way of management if you continue to do the same things that you've always done you're going to get the same results so in child care another term for management is framework your framework are your guidelines that you follow in order to achieve a systemized operation but if you're managing your business without following the proper framework that will help you achieve a systemized operation, then you are stopping yourself from being obedient. So now you might be saying, well, coach, I don't have a problem with how I manage my business. Well, if you are in your business every day, the problem is missing systems. And then if you put systems in place, but you haven't released your hands from it so that you can prove your systems, allow your systems to evolve, then you are hindering your own growth because systems aren't just something that you set and forget and walk away. You know, as a childcare boss, only in operating the childcare business, you may not be in the business, but your mind has to be on the business. So if you haven't taken time to perfect your systems, improve your systems, or even prove your systems, then you're missing the framework. See, in the School of Systems, I give my students a framework for their systems. There are four steps that you have to follow in order to prove that the systems you have will lend you the freedom that you desire. And so, that means you're missing information. So when I tell you that there's a VIP class, you might want to make sure that you show up because this VIP class is going to give you the information about framework so that you can better manage your childcare program. All right. And so here's tip this number three. This is a hard one, but I wouldn't be your coach if I wouldn't tell you the truth. Tip number three is you must learn to be obedient. Do you know that's your biggest struggle? That's why you don't have the staff you really need is because you're operating in disobedience. I've been there. 
I've been where I've heard the Spirit of the Lord tell me to go make certain connections. I've heard what the Spirit of the Lord tell me to make certain business moves. But because I wasn't obedient, I didn't have enough energy, I didn't have the faith, I didn't have the confidence, I didn't push myself to show up, I, will, I allowed distractions to stop me. I operated in disobedience for several years until the day came where I finally fell on my face and I said, okay, God, what do you want for me to do? And that's when I became free to really focus in on what God wanted me to do. So with that being said, most of your disobedience, and I'm sorry I have to use this term, but I want to be completely honest that most of the disobedience comes from your habits. Many of you have habits that have not been broken and you haven't replaced them with the proper habits that leads you towards the type of freedom that you truly desire. So that means that if you're not in an environment where habit discussions are being made, Topics about changing your routine, improving your routine, staying consistent, being diligent. You know, in the book of Romans, it talks about being diligent, that that's something that you must strive to do is to be diligent. There's another scripture that says the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to those who endure to the end. So you need some stick with it power. When God give you a vision, you got to stick with it. When he tells you how to manage your business, you got to stick with it. When he tells you it's time to hire more people, you got to keep going until you hire more people. When he tells you it's time to let people go, you got to let them go. Why? Because our life is not our own. We belong to God. We're just here as managers, as stewards over what he's given us. And he has given us the capabilities to reign in the dominion of childcare. So now that you understand that I'm talking to you from a spiritual perspective, I want to give you a business proposition. I'm going to be hosting a VIP three-day event only because I felt led to do it. I felt led that it is now time for me to host a VIP day where there's only six spots available. So if that spot belongs to you, no matter the cost, no matter the price, you definitely want to jump on it. Now, of course, there's some investment because all of your accommodations are taken care of. Your room and board, your meals, your snacks, your training, three days with me, three full days with me in the training center, and then a spiritual impartation day. So four days together. And there's, there is a minimum investment, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. So now you can click the link below and find out about the opportunity, or you can go to www.workwithcoachandrea.com and book a discovery call, and we will give you more information about our VIP day. Now, I am airing this video I'm sorry, in July of 2023, and all spaces will be filled for the month of August 2023. So if you're watching this now, the events is going to take place August 2023. If you're watching it after August 2023, you can still book a call, but I'm sure prices and the accommodations will have changed by then. All right, you guys, let me know if these three tips helped you with you having clarity about what to do to really pursue God's plan for your life. Thank you all for standing along with me. It was a pretty long video, but that's what happens when I'm in my flow. God bless. Bye, you guys.